Hi there, Erin Fitzgerald, the author of the new ebook, 10 Things Any Voice Actor Will Tell You If They Were Me. Um, when I wrote the book, it was in answer to the question, how do I become a voice actor, which I get that question all the time, and I feel like I can't answer that question. It's it, Who am I to tell you how to become an actor or a voice actor? So I wrote down and, and I wrote down, I sat down and wrote this ebook and then created an audio book with an additional eight hours of deep conversations with other professionals in the voice acting community who were kind enough to donate their time. And I have gotten so much love back and it's, it's only been a week since I launched the book. And I really wanted to share some of these beautiful, beautiful testimonials um, written by some really amazing humans who have already purchased the book. So Lawrence Maldonado, you are first. Um, as a starting voice actor narrator alongside my editing and writing work, I spend a good portion of my day scouring web pages and voiceover audition sites to keep my acting chops active, as well as to pick up bits and pieces of experience here and there. This, along with the voice actor interviews I've done on a podcast, I'm part of uh, a game, uh, and, and I am part of called We Are Gamers podcast, which I highly recommend. We Are Gamers proceeded to fuel a hunger in regards to learning more about the world of voice acting and voice actors in general. How did they start? Where did they come from? What background of knowledge did they have before pursuing this full on? For those still truly wondering about these questions, 10 Things Any Voice Actor Will Tell You If They Were Me is a one-stop shop for your answers in the field of voice work, providing enough information to satiate the ravenous spirit, ravenous, ravenous, I don't know, I like the word raven, the ravenous spirit while at the same time further whetting the appetite of the willing, developing student of the art, and finally, developing student of the art, ooh, that's beautiful, and finally leaving enough room for the student to forge their own path. This book contains anecdotes and stories from the personal experience of my work in the voiceover field, allowing the reader to take bits of what she herself has seen over 20 years of voice acting. Uh, don't tell everybody, 20 years of um, voiceover, improv, and theater work. Along with those nuggets of knowledge, however, Erin provides the reader with further uh, tools and referrals galore, sending the fledgling voice actor to a journey of discovery to find the best method for them and their future in their cho chosen field. As the saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. This book is the perfect example of that idiom in action, with each chapter pulling from both Aaron's experiences and connections within the business to give the willing voice actor a gentle nudge in the right direction before leaving it up to them to pursue further. At one point, Aaron challenges the reader to see if they really do want this and tests their desire for this line of work with a seemingly simple exercise. Overall, this ebook is fantastic is a fantastic source of knowledge and information for the beginning voice actor who is looking for a way to get a foot in the door. It won't jar the door open for you, but it walks you to the entrance for you to step in yourself. The referrals read off like a who's who in the voiceover and voice acting world on all of the various levels of experience, whether it's improv and theater acting, voice actors with many years in the industry who are willing to teach classes in their career, or even referrals for side projects to keep up your acting chops from getting rusty. I don't think I read that right, but it, you get the gist. It even goes into the business end of the voiceover world, an increasingly important aspect of the industry as times have, have evolved, and voice acting becomes a more appreciated medium of performance in a day and age where hashtag performance matters has taken root in regards to the needs of voice actors especially in gaming the bits of information regarding the actual business side of the job are some of the most deceivingly valuable pieces for the rookie voice actor and may perhaps be the most understated portions of knowledge in the entire book and this is <laughs> This is without going into the audiobooks near 10 hours of audio devoted almost entirely to interviews with various talents in the acting world to glean from their experiences on each particular chapter of the ebook. A proverbial fount of knowledge and where to, how to for the beginning voice actor. Aaron Fitzgerald's 10 Things Any Voice Actor Will Tell You If They Were Me is a marvelous entry manual to the world of the voiceover artist and is one that I highly recommend any amateur voice actor to read, take heed, and to use it on their path to succeed. Oh, Lawrence, that is so beautiful. You write so beautifully. So to be fair, Lawrence is a writer, and um, 
<laughs> not everybody's testimonials are going to sound like that. Um, the next one I have here. Oh, Val Pierce. She has a podcast on YouTube. Oh, she's a YouTuber. You podcast. I don't even know why I said that, but she has a YouTube channel. Please check her out. Erin has been in the voiceover industry long enough to know what works and what doesn't. This is a keep it real kind of book, and Erin gives her personal experience and heart-to-heart -heart advice for people who are interested in the voiceover voice acting career path. This not only inspired me, but I also learned so much. The audio and ebook provides extremely useful tips and resources for amateurs that need some guidance. Erin is your very own voice over voice acting fairy godmother. <laughs> Val, <laughs> if you're serious or passionate in the art of acting, this is a must read and hear. Best Valerie. Thank you, Val. That was beautiful. <laughs> she tweeted, Valerie tweeted on Twitter, I'm proud to say I finished Aaron Fitzgerald's ebook. It was so much valuable info and real advice. This is a must hear. Um, oh, this beautiful testimonial. Um, this came from Caleb Yen, and he sent it over Facebook. Hey, Erin, I just wanted to thank you for writing your amazing ebook. It's kind of funny. This is really hard to read these out loud. <sighs> it's kind of funny, but you've been pushing me towards voice acting for a few years now without even knowing it. I've always been interested in voice acting, but I hadn't really pursued anything when I first came across the Skullgirls voice actor screen, streams. Skullgirls is a video game. Um, seeing you and the other VAs having an awesome time kind of inspired me. I realized that you all weren't I realized that you all weren't just magical voices you were real live people that worked like hell to achieve their dreams which should be obvious but something just clicked I discovered your blog a little after that and that pointed me in the direction of voiceactingalliance.com I auditioned for a few things but life got busy with China prep I was about to study abroad for six months or so, so those plans kind of got put on hold. Once I graduated a few years ago, I realized it was time to actually work towards whatever my dreams were. And that led to on-camera acting classes, some improv, stage classes, voice lessons, and more. Yay! Anyway, fast forward to present day. I have a good amount of experience in my tiny local market, and I've even booked some commercial VO gigs. Some awesome projects from Vo Voice Acting Alliance, too. Nothing huge or fancy, but I love it. I've done stage and screen now. Again, nothing fancy, but something about voiceover just clicks. Maybe it's the personal nature of it. The fact that I can act against type, at least as far as appearance is concerned. Not sure. Hang on, i got to finish this. Anyway, when I came across your book, I was kind of trying to figure out what the next step should be, where I should go from here, and then boom. There it was, Aaron's ebook, complete with that trademark Aaron humor. I sprung for the audio visual combo and I'm learning so much. I'm really excited about this next step. So thanks, Aaron. Just like any career goal, getting into voiceover isn't something easy. It's not something guaranteed, but having you along for the ride or at least your voice has made it that much easier. Stay awesome, Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. That is so sweet. I really appreciate it. This is just going to be me um, crying while reading testimonials. That's all this is. Um, Sean Chiplock, who I really got in depth with at a con um, at TuneCon, we had a great conversation. He's so sweet. He just tweeted, "Seriously, holy shizzle." Aaron Fitzgerald actually is actually an incredible human being. Loves her fan, connects with the community, and she loves the craft. Thank you so much, Sean. That was really really sweet. Uh, Connor Ludovice, I feel like it's Ludovice, that's beautiful, at Tricon0411. Awesome ebook by Aaron Fitzgerald about voice acting. Great for newbies, seasoned vets, and people in the middle like me. Oh, thank you so much, Connor. Um, David Hader, who plays Solid Snake in Metal Gear, actually posted, for all my tweeps who've asked me how to become a voice actor, hashtag performance matters, and he retweeted my book. So that is amazing. Thank you, David Hader. That was awesome. Um, Hamsterball Studios. Ryan, thank you. I'm Brian, Randy. Randy Brian. I'm totally, I'm emotional. I'm a little reclaimed. Aaron Fitzgerald is a fantastically talented voice actor and an equally fabulous person. She's now written an audio book, an ebook about breaking into and thriving in the music business, the music business, the voiceover business. I love that he put music business. 
I love him. He's a musician. Having delved into it, we highly recommend that you purchase this if you have any thoughts about seeking voice acting as a profession. Thank you, Randy. That was awesome. That made me laugh. Um, and then I just got this one while I was actually recording this from Ian Deppa. I got your ebook audiobook and it's exactly what I needed. I want more than anything to break into this industry and your book and interviews have done so much to help me. That exercise at the beginning really took me by surprise and at first I didn't know if I could do it. Flashbacks of attempting to read Tolkien in the past and then wanting to tear my hair out and toss the book out the window flashed before my eyes. Now, after reading it aloud, I'm having a surprisingly great time. It's like I'm helping paint the world on the pages I have previously thought dull. Near a quarter, <laughs> near a quarter through fellowship. Woohoo! Also, my mother came in and started listening and told me to wait for her to be done, wait for her to be done work before he kept going. So hey, you and Phil Lamar have a new fan in my mom. <laughs> I know it sounds mushy, but this is life changing for me. I don't know if you're ever going to read this because I bet you get a ton of messages like this and it'll be become written white noise. Yeah, no, I'm reading it out loud on video now. So thank you, Ian. <laughs> um, but all the same, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, and thank you to all of my friends in the uh, voice acting field who have been so kind uh, reposting this book. And everybody's been really great and supportive. Uh, all the professionals that I work with have been posting this book to help answer that question, how do I get into voice acting? So um, thank you to all of you. Um, if you haven't read the ebook yet or gotten the audiobook, maybe some of these testimonials will um, light up for you and maybe you'll want to. Um, but even if nobody else gets it, I am so grateful that I wrote it and I am so grateful to all of you who have read it and listened to it. Um, I feel like my purpose has been completed. Thanks.